Here I am, I just crawled into a place just in uh, Curry called Chinaman's Holler. It's a park that's all been done up on both sides of the road. It's quite a nice little spot to pull in for a thing. And anyway, I had a bit of a detect here, I just pulled up and um, I'm on the way home from work today and had a bit of a detect and uh, end up finding this. Don't know what it is. It looks like it's a could be some decorative silver thing. I don't know, but we'll clean it up later and have a look. I don't think it's anything of value, but um, you never know. Might be a bit of value in silver. Yeah, thanks. We'll get back to you. We're heading back to the car. Back over there. I've been up the side of the road and back around the side there. And never really found anything but cans and it's rubbish. Then all of a sudden I just come across the sun bacon buck. I was heading back over the car, just here about to cross the road. The bins are just here. I thought oh, I'll have a swim around there, but I must probably get on cans and stuff. But anyway, pulled out, just shallow. Look how deep it was. Rams had shilling. Let's see here. 1913. Ah, uh, no, it's not. 1943. 1943 Rams had about two inches deep. Never credit. Anyway, that's a bonus for the day. Just about to go home and got a silver. Ooh, ripper. I don't believe this one. There's the car just there. I'm just about to get into the car and she goes off. Makes a noise. She scratches her. I'll give it a dig anyway. And as I was turning the dirt over, out pops a toy. It's about the size of a penny. And it is a penny. condition too once it's cleaned up. It's pretty shiny there already. Yeah, how's that for a bit of a bloody day? I was amazed with that. Just turned the dirt over and there it was. It's just I'm saying it was two inches, but how often you find a penny that's two inches. Anyway, good little score. We'll have another dig around here now. I'm just a bit keen, I might go home just yet. Alright. Where's the um some total of my little find today after work there. It's just a 1958 penny with a hole drilled in it. Someone must have had it as a necklace or something. And a um, 1940, oh, what was the number date of that there? 1940. I think it says 1948. <laughs> it's a shilling. Put it in the buckle. And that mystery um, cap with a leaf on it. <coughs> Excuse the cough. Anyway, yeah, so that's the total. And then the inevitable rubbish. You know, we always get the rubbish. Clean the place up from. And a nice little park, this. A lot of people use it. Walk around, just play it down the side of the road as well. Always busy. Always busy. I think it might be a bit too modern to get too modern old stuff, but then again, I got the penny and the shilling. I didn't think it'd be that old park. I thought it'd be more of a modern built one. You, know? but you never know. You never go. All right. Back out. Right here, I'm back at um, Tronman's Holler. A little park. Between um, Sassnock and Curry, I think it is. Yeah, so we'll have a look around here again. The other day I was here, found a um, 
Ram's had a shilling and a penny. So today I'm going to have a bit more of a look around. Heading home tomorrow, back to Grafton. So this is my final dig for this um, stint. Had some fun. Been out with Bob a couple of times in different spots. Detected around the old hut, stone hut. Found some great stuff around that. And uh, just, uh, just been a great, great detect for over a period of a couple of months. I only have a day off here and a day off there, but it's been good. Anyway, we'll have a final dig around here before I head back and pack my bags to go home tomorrow. Catch you later if I dig anything. Here's my first find for the afternoon. Got another two dollar coin. If I find them all day, I'd be happy. Yeah, alright. Catch you later. Here's a bit of a sound, but a bit scratchy, but it's a constant 71. So I've got on audio on. On audio off the same sound, so it might be worth a dig. You know, see what it is. Here we are, that sound I thought was worth a dig. Well, it's building up my fishing collection. There's another sinker. You wouldn't think you'd get one in the middle of the park out here in the middle of it. A, um, an area here away from the river. There's the kids fishing in the creek here. Bit of a creek here. They might, I don't know if there's fish in that or not. But, yeah, they might be mucking around here. Anyway, sinker. Well, there's a little plaque on the council put in here that tells you about this uh, area. Chinaman's Hollow. This area was historically used as a Chinese market garden. As such, was named Chinaman's Hollow. Oh, well, a bit of um, recognition why it was called Chinaman's Hollow. Thought it might have something to do with a Chinaman living here or something. But there it is. Oh, well, I'm over here, a bit away from where the car is. Just up there where there is where that sign was saying it's a Chinese market garden. So I've come down around the footpath here and picked up a bit of a signal here. Worth having a bit of a dig. It's down about nine or ten inches, though. It's we'll have a bit of a dig and see what we come up with. Yeah, something in this hole here. I can see it down there, just poking out there. Found it with the. There it is. There, can you see that? It looks. I don't know. Might be a. like it might be some sort of medallion or something, but uh, something on each side. Not very clear though. I'll have to have a clean up and have a look later. Mm. Mm -hmm. Pretty good though. Oh, hello, there's a looks like a. Uh, what's that? It looks like it might be a. An Aboriginal or something standing up there with a spear. Yeah. You see that figure? Looks like looks like there's an it's an Aboriginal standing there with a spear or something. But anyway, I'll have a look at it later. Can't see much on that side. We'll have a look, clean it up and have a look. Yeah, beaut. That's made the day worthwhile. I don't hadn't been going very well up till now. There we go. Nice signal here. Well, on audio, nothing comes up. Only shallow, so it might be a coin, two dollars or something like that. 
Sabuloki. Ah, no, it's not. There it is. I don't know what it is. Pressure tag, some some aluminium tag of some sort. So some sort of aluminium tag. Yeah. Anyway, there yeah, we got another nice sound. Put on audio on. Still no scratchy. Just sounds nice. Been about four to six inches. So might be something worth digging. Uh, it's out of the hole, I just grabbed the, the carrot. Well, there we go. Just a little copper washer of some sort. So much, man. You do a live dig, what do you get? Rubbish. Don't do a dig, and what do you get? Coin. Here's another nice sweet sound, a little bit. 83, pretty constant 83, 4 inches deep. Have a dig and see what there it is the big aluminium coin. Yeah, it's amazing how you find so many of these, it sounds just like you're going to find a great coin. Anyway, a bit more rubbish out of the park for the council. Here we go, here's the wrap up. Me and I'm so excited. I found all these aluminium coins, and then I've come down here. Found a tap washer, pressure tag, the two dollar coin, the sinker, then the pride of me whole life of detecting. I sent a photo of this to my mate Bob who lives in Cessnock and he assures me that it's a cartwheel penny. I just can't get over it. Fancy finding a cartwheel penny out here in the middle of a park, even though it used to be Chinese gardens. But I just can't believe how a cartwheel penny would get here. They were supposedly made in um, about the 1700s, 90 something. I have to check that out. But it doesn't look real clear. But on one side, it looks like I thought it was a Aboriginal standing there having a like a spear. But it's um, well, it can't be that if it's an English coin. I'll have to clean it up and have another look at it. But um, yeah, mate, just magic. You can't imagine what it's. I, I just feel over the moon finding something so old, the oldest thing I've ever found. And um, the last dig while I was here, I was just about to um, call it quits and go home. And tomorrow I'm heading back to Grafton. And I uh, was nearly drove past here, nearly didn't call in, but I thought, oh, we'll have a bit of a muck around here, fill in an hour or so. Well, look what I come up with. Just shows you, doesn't it? It's just so exciting. Not many people have found one of these in Australia, I bet. Probably find a few over in England, but not here. Great stuff. You beaut. All right. I'll have to um, shout to Bob one day. I don't know when I'll see him next, but... Um, catch up sometime down the track I'm sure all right this is wrapping up the, um, the hunts around the Maitland area where well, I've been working down here this little park's been a little beauty for me down the shilling a penny and now this um, cartwheel penny it's just I can't get over it it's just so exciting I just have to um, see how to clean it up I don't ruin it. all right He's over and out. Next digs will be back in the Clarence Valley. Catch you later.